Well guys, welcome back to, this is probably the first filming trip since I've had my little baby daughter, so it's bloody good to be out, not gonna lie. Now, thought I'd kick it off with a bloody tinny trip. Got Jared here, my cousin. Uh, he has a different car every time we see each other. It's like he has a different car, but he's got his runabout, I've got my runabout, it's just us two for this trip. Now, looking at the clouds behind me, We've had some bad weather in the last two days, but we've only got sort of a few little showery periods this weekend. Um, I was saying to Jared before that usually <laughs> on these tinny trips, you'd be a bit worried about the clouds and that, but it's good we've both got biminis and stuff installed. And um, the main thing is I can't wait to actually run through the setups with you guys because it's a completely different setup. And it might help any of you guys who want to pack for something like this in the future, or give me some suggestions if you see um, anything that you might like to add so let's get these boats in the water i am so excited to be out here guys bit fresh <laughs> good sign jack grab him <laughs> he's probably under there chewing your trailer wire <laughs> little bit of sprinkle around but it's actually absolutely nothing it's actually really nice to be out um, and nicer to have the cooler weather um, we got firewood. I've got. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you the exact plan when we get out on the water and stuff like that. I'm just too damn excited. <laughs> <laughs> that looks so good. Yeah, oh, sorry, I thought you meant the amount of time. Alrighty. Well, guys, here he is, old Jared. Eight car Jared. Back again, yeah. <laughs> How you going, mate? Good, mate, you? Um, yeah, good. So this is the first time you've been out camping for on a, this boat for as well. a trip, yeah, yep. camping trip, yeah. Yeah, beauty. I'd like to run through your setup as well. It'd be good, actually, when we're sort of um, rafted up later to have a look around because we'll be right next to each other. Yeah, for sure bloody perfect my boat guys is actually sort of sponsored by amazon for this trip i'll show you all the amazon parts it's hilarious this thing will be on fire from all the dodgy wiring that i've done ah oh, jazz thanks mate didn't doesn't sink like the tinny did <laughs> yeah a little bit It's a nice cool morning this morning. It's probably about nine, 10 degrees and it'll be interesting to see how the old four stroke starts up. At least my arm won't be getting tired. That's the main thing, but um, I really can't wait to give this one a really good run and start it up on cold mornings, try it out on shallow drive even more. See what she can bloody do, eh? I just, I cannot explain to you how nice a feeling that is. So this is a bit of a mess at the moment. I'll run through it a bit proper later, but I'm gonna spend about five minutes just sort of cramming everything up the front and making it a nice sort of walkable area, so. Yeah, but don't forget, I've taken my back seat out. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah good idea. Yeah, yeah, just give me a bit more room. This is what I was talking about. Oh, yeah. It's gonna be fun cooking dinner on that, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I think once you have, I need two. I need the two holder, don't I? Yeah. I brought the little drifter table just to be safe. Well, I hope you don't think any different of me, and I know this is only a tiny upgrade, but this feels freaking amazing to me, just to, to have that freedom of walking around a little bit. I mean, I know I'm a big boy, and it still does rock a little bit, 
um, but it's a nice feeling to have, you know, a bit of cover and stuff like that. I don't know. I, I, I get like this on every bloody trip. I just get so excited when I start off. <laughs> and another thing we actually bought, um, we have got the radios on here, but we bought a um, little, uh, little two watt um, GME radio. It's just good for chatting to each other. It's so nice to have a bimini. I think I just need to try and organise some clears to go down here. I actually get the sun shower now. <laughs> if we're in the tinnies, I'd really have to think about how I've packed, but as it is, this is just over the front of the windscreen. So we're just cruising through the um, through the canals now. And we've got a few little things planned that I'll show you as the day goes on. But it should be a real interesting trip. Got some awesome um, Awesome meals planned. Uh, Jared's cooking a stew, so tonight we're cooking on um, at this little campsite that we know of. We'll cook, have a fire there, chill out most of the night, and then you know cruise out to the middle of the river and get all the boats set up and rafted up. And then tomorrow, um, we're well, we're actually scouting out a campsite for today for tomorrow night. If that makes any sense. Oh shit! And then also lunchtime today, uh, we're going to have a little bit of a pub lunch. <laughs> Treating ourselves on this got one, guys, you know. Oh, beautiful. Couple of clears here, I think will go will go um go nicely. But maybe get a better better bimney. This is only a bit of a cheap one, but I tell you what, actually while I've got yours, um, not endorsed at all, but uh, I got this bimini and it got here from like Melbourne or Sydney from Kaiser Boating. Um, got here within four days and I'll tell you what Tony if you are watching this mate thank you so much for your service dude I've been getting such awesome service from you guys lately um, and I really appreciate it anyway let's keep powering on let's get over here nice little sun shower So I reckon I've found one little flaw, as I was mentioning about the clears here. There used to be a smaller bimini that come off here about this height, but I like to stand up while I'm driving most of the time. So I've found that this bimini is probably about 100 mil past the back of this windscreen. All of this stuff down here, all this dashboard, it's all waterproof, but it still sort of drips and lets water down there. Not as though we're going to be aiming to go in wet weather, but we had quite a heavy shower after you saw me last. Um, but that's pretty much clearing up over there. We're heading out that way, so um, we've got nothing but blue sky out that way. It's all things that I'm wanting to learn about when I'm on this trip, you know, is you know what I can change and stuff. Because when I did put this bimini on, it's on the old um, mounts of the other bimini, and I thought it worked pretty well, but maybe it just needs to go forward. Or if I can get clears coming down from here with a better bimini, I think I'd be bloody set. So this is what I was explaining before, we're just under a little grey cloud here um, and that's pissing down quite hard. I'm getting a little, I'm getting quite wet here but it's not that bad, I'm, I'm at least, I can at least stand back here and just let it pop forward. No, you're right mate. Um, and you can see that little bit of rain coming in here. It's nothing though, there's blue clouds behind it. Nothing wrong with this, better than stinking hot, that's what I say. <laughs> we just got that little channel to cross. Then we're over the other side in the blue bloody sky, mate. And then just like that, it's um, it's blue again. Um, 
toss it up with it to throw the drone up, but I don't think I'm gonna. I think I'm just gonna air on the, because the last time I sort of did this little area, I lost the drone, so I, I wanna be extra careful this time. But it's good, it's, um, what I found with the Bimini actually is that even during that, um, when it pissed down, I was able just, if you're smart enough, you can sort of position the boat um, a certain way so that it doesn't, um, doesn't cop the brunt of it, you know, even though it is open all, all around the side, I didn't actually get wet, apart from when I was showing you and standing here. Um, and the way I've looked at it, I've got everything, all my camera gear up underneath the bow, I'll show you properly later, but everything out here, we can afford to get wet, no worries. And Jimmy, if you're watching, and, I, and guys, I ca actually can't wait to show you properly this dry bag, because I've been using it heaps now, a bloody lifesaver actually a lifesaver the amount of shit i can fit in there it's like a little compression um a compression bag as well which is really good oh man I, I really am getting excited about showing you guys through this i'll probably do it later just before dinner and stuff when we're unpacking i don't know let's see what happens So it is a tiny bit shallow here. Um, we've got a little plan here. So Jared just needs to change something um, simple on his um, on his dock there because it's a it's a relay for the tilt the tilt control apparently. And I've got to do a, actually no. The plan is he's going to fix that while he's here. It's just a quick change, couple of um, uh, couple of wires to change over and. And I'm going to bait up some crab nets. We bought some crab nets. We're going to drop some crab nets, let them soak for a couple of hours, and we'll come back and check them later on. Should be good. Yeah, even this? Yeah. Yeah, it's good. It's perfect. Oh, look how clear it is, man. And it drops off nicely there, doesn't it? What do you reckon, mate? Two days, mate. No, oh. Day. <laughs> I can't believe how clear it is. So the good thing is, this is the whole reason why I wanted to get the, the runabout because, you know, we could pull up here, have a bit of a fire, like if we wanted to have a little bit of a fire here, it's nice and protected, and then get the boats and just anchor them over there. And, um, you know, Jared, 
Jared's hooked up a couple of uh, LED uh, navigation lights and we can just leave them on out there, anchor up out there and have a beautiful night's sleep. We'll just see how I go setting up the old swaggy in the boat while she's rocky rocky. <laughs> So Jazz, what is it? I tried to explain, it's solenoid, just a solenoid, uh, isn't it? the relay. Ah, oh, relay, sorry. Yeah. So, relay for up and down. I think yeah. just my ups. Did um, it work across that, that open body there? Oh, Did it stay already, up a bit? No. Nah, Cause you preset well, it? Well, I preset it, yeah. 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 But it wouldn't. Wouldn't move from wouldn't there. Wouldn't move from there. So Didn't want to jinx it. Yeah, like if I pull on that. Yeah. It'll start working. Yeah, gotcha. But then sometimes, like working now, Yep. But then it'll cut out sometimes. So yeah, gotcha. I'll just change it. Shano gave me a spare. So. Thanks, Shano. So what? <laughs> hey? I think the last trip I was focused too. Yeah, the. <laughs> and he got us out the shit. Yeah, always. Yeah, right, oh. Where'd that wind come from? <laughs> so while Jared's changing over that, um, that relay, we've got a couple of crab nets with us. So. I've got, um, so for my dinner tomorrow night, that was, so we're taking a dinner each um, this trip. Tonight's a nice stew by Jarrah, but I, I'm, for my meal tomorrow night, I'm, I was using bone-in um, chicken thighs. But what I'm gonna do now, I actually took the bones out, like deboned them, is it, I hope that's what it's called, Dave, let me know. And I kept the, I kept the, um, the bones in that with a bit of skin, um, skin and, and flesh on them and then I'll just throw them in these buckets, in these baskets, drop them out and I don't know, see how we go. We saw one at the frickin' boat ramp. <laughs> we won't see any for the rest of the trip now. Wish us luck, see how we go. So it looks like we've got another little shower coming in. That was an easy fix for Jared, just a quick change up, piece of piss. Um, uh, so I baited up the uh, crab nets. We'll drop them over here and then we'll try and work our way down one of the leaks of the river over here, just to sort of get past that a little bit. Oh man, <laughs> I'd be soaked without the bimini. <laughs> Perfect timing because we're actually going with the wind, so that rain's just coming straight down on top. <laughs> Dry as mate! Honestly, it can't get the smile on <laughs> Oh, bloody beauty. It's funny for trips like this, we thought it was going to be nice and warm because a couple of weeks ago it sort of said it was going to be pretty good weather. But you're just going to pack for the situation I guess. It's good because everything here is pretty soaked but I'm completely fine with it. Jeez, I was going to throw on sun cream in a minute. <laughs> Just pissing down, now it's bloody sunny. Now I'm hot. <laughs> I was saying to Jared before that as long as I've got this bimini, I'm fine because I don't care if my legs and that get wet. I don't care. I'm nice and toasty in this. I've got my vest as well, which is bloody good. But <laughs> this is just amazing. Uh, another thing, we did forget to put the bloody crab nets in because we were getting so sort of shat on. Um, but there is a spot up here where the last tinny trip that we did do up here, we were on shallow drive and hitting hitting the freaking the uh, the riverbed with with the um, the props. So I want to see how we go because we've had sort of 20 to 30 mil in the last two days. I've got a feeling that area will be deeper. So and surely it's going to be close to open cracking a beer. Oh, I've got some new beers to show you too. <laughs> Oh, geez, Friday too. Feel sorry for you lads out working, mate. <laughs> Just a bit of test. See the difference between the big tinnies and the little ones from the last trip. See how we go. A few logs in here. Give it a go.
Jared have done bloody well to get through there. Let's see how we go. So I'm thinking I'll come here and then in there, I don't know. I'll have to do a couple of turns, I reckon. There's a couple of logs down here. I don't know if you guys can see them. Whip that round. Oh, no way. Am I gonna ask this? <laughs> Pretty light branches, a few heavy ones. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> as long as I can get those branches over the top of this like Jared did, I think we'll be right. Once you get out there, you're sweet. Lift this up. Get out there. Get out there. Up you go. Up you go. Whip them right a bit. That seems to be just dragging along the top. <laughs> oh, that, that's good. <laughs> that was so good. I just copied what you did and changed the angles. You can still do it. I've got half a tree on the boat. <laughs> So again, it's just started to rain again, so I'm not sure if you can see this spot here. This used to, like, as we are going uh, through here in our tinnies, it was like 300 mil deep again. So now we've got 0.6, which is good. So I think we have a good chance of getting over the other side and exploring a whole, um, you know, see how far we can sort of get down. I just saw a freaking fish jump over there. Jesus! <laughs> Oh, it's so fun navigating these different little obstacles, you know, it just makes makes it more of like an adventure, it makes it more fun, you know. Obviously Jared's just run into a bit of soil over there, so I better keep an eye out. 0 0.5, 0 0.4 now. And it's hard with the grey clouds over the top at the moment. I'd say if I give it another, another 10 minutes, I could probably see the bottom, but the grey the gray clouds don't make it very clear. What do you reckon about height? Will you get through? Uh, not sure. I might need you to have a look, actually. <laughs> that is tight, eh? Who would have thought it'd be this high? <laughs> <laughs> How is it? You can go your left a little bit because that log in the middle drops down a bit. Now Jared's got Jared's got through there not too bad. It gets caught up in certain spots, but I tried with mine. Mine must be like a hundred mil higher or something because it uh, kept getting caught. I don't know how much is beyond this point. Um, and also it wouldn't take me long to sorry undo the back the back of the bimini, but I'm worried because there's a bolt on the outside of the boat that I could lose if I sort of undo that. The bolt might fall in the water, so that's the only thing I'm concerned about. Otherwise, I would, I'll be honest, but. God damn, that water level's nice and high. Well, uh, we've decided we're not gonna go much further than that, so we are gonna go back and get the pub lunch like we promised. We 
we gotta do it, you know? I promised it in the video, you gotta do it. <laughs> oh, but, uh, Jared reckons there's some nice um, wood-fired pizzas at this joint, so I'm keen on that. Pizza and a pint, let's go. I hope I packed enough bloody um, cold weather clothes, guys. Now, it is quarter to five, and it's darkening a lot quicker than we thought it would. We've just finished our pub lunch, um, had a nice little seafood pizza, actually, and some beer batter chips, if you wanted to know. So our camp is about 45 minutes away around this, um, there's a couple of bends down here. I think it's about three to four k's away. So we're gonna putt down there and then we're gonna get a fire going because it's freaking freezing. And Jared is cooking a beautiful stew tonight. So I can't wait to show you all of that. And then I'd like to also show you how um, I set up my sleeping arrangement here because there's a bit of story behind that. I was never meant to use um, my Zempire Ranger swag here just because it's 1200 wide and I've got 1500 um, in deck room. I originally uh, bought a little 900 wide XTM um, swag, nice and simple, and I put an eggshell mattress in it as well, just to make it a bit softer on the deck there. But I feel like it would have been sleeping, like sleeping in, in my bloody coffin, because I'm claustrophobic, so I hope this works. I mean, worst case scenario, there's no poles to snap, and I can step on it if need to, and I can also squeeze it in if I need, you know, a bit of room, but. I'll be a lot more comfortable in this, I feel. The wind's died down, the rain has stopped, um, but it's cold, it's really cold. I don't usually get cold, but I'm freaking freezing. I reckon when I get to camp, I might pour a whiskey. That might be nice and warming, warm the old cockles. <laughs> and I might have to use a bloody spotlight, I reckon, at this point. We might be rocking up at dark. Geez, we're probably still about 25, 30 minutes from camp. But this is awesome. It's actually nice to have the deck um, lit up. Jared's got spotties up on his boat. I've got the old night core from, um, from Earth Track. This has saved my bum, I'll be honest, tonight. Otherwise, I'd have to stay real close to him. I want to get some, I've actually spoken to Davo about some spotties for the front of this. It would be good, actually. Check this out, the old bloody super strength. Whoa! sun hasn't even gone down properly yet. It's handy though. Love this. I'll have to be doing this later because um, we're adamant that we want to sleep on the boat. This camp that we're going to, we can actually still camp on the shore. Uh, but this one here, we actually want to make sure we're sleeping on the boat just for future trips as well, you know. This is awesome. <laughs> do this all night I reckon. Jared's got his music going, I've got mine going with my little Amazon speakers. <laughs> Bloody gorgeous, they're cute aren't they? They're adorable. I reckon the next shot you might see is us unloading or you might see the old flicker of a fire I reckon. See you in about half an hour.
Yeah. I don't know. Depends how poked the fuel is nowadays. <laughs> Watch yourself. I think it's on. Oh, I see that look in the water. <laughs> Tried to do medium, then big for you, bud. <laughs> okay. Fire prep. That's what it's all about, isn't it, mate? It is. It is. Everyone laughs at me when I do it. <laughs> it's like, hang on, how good was that fire? I learnt that. Went down south. Oh, you gotta get heat somehow. That crackle. Cheers, mate. Cheers to you. Cheers to Vicky and cheers to Brad. Yeah, cheers, Brad. Fucking way too soon, mate. Mm -hmm. Way too fucking soon. Put it over there, I'll still stand on it. <laughs> Guys, I really wanted to show you what. Th this is your specialty, isn't it? Or who'd you learn it from? Who's the OG? <laughs> Uncle Steve O, mate. <laughs> on you, Steve O. Somewhat, somewhat, anyway. So, tell us what you've done, mate. Uh, rump steak, potato, onion, peas, carrots, corn, beef stock. Um, we'll put a bit of gravy, some um, fresh bread. Oh, look at that. How long has that been on there for, you reckon, oh, Joe? I don't know. How long we've been sitting here? I'm gonna say, hours? Yeah, I'm going to say two and a half, three hours. Yeah. Slower the better. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. yeah. See how that goes, eh? Bit of, bit of grey box. Grey box, yeah. Just thicken it up a little. Oh my god, dude. Should have left over there. Oh, mate. On, <laughs> on toast for brekkie? Yeah, sounds good. Stoke the fire up now, eh? Yeah. Well guys, that's pretty much it for tonight. We're gonna chow down on that. We've got a bit of bloody crusty tiger loaf there, haven't you, Jazz? Oh, look at it, beautiful. Just the thing we need actually after today. It's been a big day, hasn't it, mate? Yeah, just a bit. Yeah, so, <laughs> uh, <laughs> it is, isn't it? Um, so, we haven't decided yet whether we're gonna leave the sort of boats here, set up in the boats, um, and just sort of sleep here on the shore or whether we're gonna you know anchor out there somewhere So either way, I'll see you in the morning and I'll let you know how we go I might try and film myself setting up and uh, run through the setup tonight But if not, I'll do it tomorrow night for sure after I've cooked my dinner on the boat. So Guys, thank you for watching episode number one If you feel like becoming a patreon if you feel like subscribing, please go ahead and do do so um, if not, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much guys. Throw a comment in if you have any suggestions about anything anything to do with the setup. See you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching.